Alrighty guys, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Trinmere in the top lane with Exhaust Ignite. I am doing the ultimate chief strat up against the Shen. And it looks like they got Ramus, Zareth, Jin. They got a bunch of CC, so uh, as far as Maroons go, this is kind of guy is trying to fight me. I have Exhaust Ignite, bro. I got lethal tempo. Yeah, get the fuck out of my lane. That's what I thought. Anyways, that right there, having that just instant pressure uh they can put on your lane opponent this is why you go exhaust ignite what's up everybody this video is sponsored by face check face check literally gives you anything and everything you would want to know about your opponents before getting in game i want you to do a deep dive into tags feature because it is hands down my favorite once you get in the game tags can tell you so much about your opponent it's actually op learn if they're rusty meaning if they haven't played in some time if they're tilted Meaning if you get the first kill on them, you'll know they rage. And Slayer, meaning they're an absolute packing games full of kills. There are so many more tags to get to know your opponents. This is just a taste. So check out Face Check right now using the link in the description below. Now I will say, uh, you know, I will say that um, this is not traditionally something that I would run. But for those of you who really want to just cheese, like maybe you, you really don't know how to play against like a shit, let's say Shen. Like, Shen can be a hard matchup for Trend. You don't really know how to play against a, a champion like this. Like, you know what's one of your worst matchups. You don't want to feed and lane. You want to be the the reason your team is, uh, you know, losing the game. Because you just lose against this guy so hard. Take Exhaust Ignite. At the very least, it will teach you how to play aggressive uh, in this type of matchup. And uh, it will teach you to uh you know really go for the all-in because a lot of you i know are very passive players i i coach you you know a lot of people over the past uh you know many years have been a content creator um is this guy just dead right <laughs> anyways i've coached a lot of you guys over the years have been a content creator and my gosh are some some of you just so insanely passive it just boggles my mind oh wait <laughs> wait that ramus ran into the minion i'm totally fine right yeah. wave was pushing back towards me he's pushing back towards me and i got the kill and i avoided a ramus did he like not see that minion i don't even know anyways we got that game Easy peasy. Even if he did hit me, I don't think it would have mattered. Because the Shen wasn't there yet. Now, if Ramus had waited until Shen came back and then did that and allowed Shen to get back, then maybe I would have been punished. But I got the cannon. Wave Shen back towards me. I'm totally good. But yeah, the Exhaust Ignite is a surefire way to force you to be aggressive because you just have so much power early on. And honestly, even in later game fights, just because the, uh, the amount of damage that Exhaust that minion i meant to like spin through that minion and get the the next one but I actually missed it but yeah the amount of power that gives you even in late game because the amount of damage that exhaust removes like, literally 35 percent of their damage just gone plenty of time for trimmer to fully ramp up lethal tempo and just absolutely smack someone up especially hero. someone like shen who just fights you straight up there's no like real kiting involved here's how it goes against shen you go against him you fight him he presses W, he taunts away. If you're able to save your 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 spin to go after his his taunt away, then you're gonna be able to stick on him. Straight up. Rip crit. I'm gonna crash this wave into turret. I could just go back and buy Noon Quiver right now. He's trying to hold the wave in a good spot. And honestly, I'm going to take that trade. Because you know what? Look at the amount of sustain I have compared to the amount of sustain the Shin has. It's like, it's got almost nothing. Now, he can reduce a lot of my damage. But straight just to sustain back up, he's got almost nothing. I hit six off the next minion, so maybe I can bait him into going into me again. That little bit of bait action. Here, I can just laugh at him because I got the uh, ignite going. <laughs> bait him. 
baited and outsmarted. I still have my exhaust up if the Ramus decides to contest me. Looks like I'm fine. The Shen isn't 6. He doesn't have TP, so I get to just take his plate right here. Easy peasy. Honestly, in fact, take a look at their team. Who on their team can match me? Besides the Shen. It's literally just Shen, right? So if I'm beating Shen this hard because of the Exhaust Ignite, you know what I could do? I could build an item like Hullbreaker. Uh, usually you would go with something like Devori because traditionally you would actually transition out of split pushing into team fights with Trinmere. Uh, just because with Ghost, Flash, uh, items like Navori Quick Blades, you actually have a lot of stick potential on their carries. And if you get a good flank, you could just straight take care of a team fight single handedly. But in this case, you know, without the Ghost, without the Flash, we could exhaust and ignite instead. What we're going to do is we're going to hyper focus on the split push aspect of Trend. And we're just going to try to beat the Shen so hard and take all of his turrets and just force a lot of pressure onto us. Be a slaughter. <clears throat> so I would say it's like definitely a different playstyle that you have to go if you want to like carry a game. Um, you know, with this build. Just because you don't have the, the movement utility of having the Ghost and the Flash. Uh, me ping Shen's missing. I mean, did Shen ult? I didn't see him ult anywhere, but I guess he could ult right now if he wanted to. I'm not shoving the wave right now. I'm going to keep the wave right here just in case Shen walks up. Uh, then I get to just beat him down with my huge item advantage. She's got Bramble Vast. I've got a Noon Quiver and a Pickaxe and Boots. So I've got like over a thousand gold advantage on him already. <sighs> Alright, Shen's nowhere to be found. Honestly, I kind of want him to ult away right now. Because if he ults away, then I could just shove very quickly with my Noon Quiver and just take plates. And even if he gets a kill or something down bottom, I'm going to get way more experience and way more gold. And that's what matters. I I'm focusing on my, on my own gold uh, gain rather than the, the difference in gold between oh uh, me and Shen. An more gold that I can get personally, that's what matters to me. Because I need to get to my items ASAP if I want to carry this game from a pure split push perspective. I have to be more greedy than before. Like, Trinmere's pretty greedy overall. You'll be taking your jungler's jungle camps and stuff pretty often. And that's just how you have to play the game. But with this build, you especially have to be, like, just super on point. If he taunts into me, I could just straight kill him, by the way. Now, he does have flash right now, so he does have uh, that to kind of cut away with. We're just going to get some extra damage there. You know, I have Kraken Slayer in base. Let's just go back and buy Kraken Slayer. There's no fighting that my team is doing on the map right now, so I don't have to, like, push Jen in right now and continue pressuring him. I could just go back by Kraken Slayer and just get an even more massive advantage. Let's see, Shen should back right now. If he backs Shen out, he's in a good spot. If he tries to shove this wave out, he's screwed. Okay, he's smart, he's backing. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna hard crash this wave in and take a plate, try or try to take a plate before the Shen gets back to lane. Follow my blade. You know, Shen might actually ult here. If he does, we can basically take the whole turret. Like, we want to have so much pressure on Shen that he's going to be so scared to ult and help his team because he knows I'm about to breach. Hey, Shen's just getting back to lane now. Honestly, if he taunts me... I really care less, because I'm still going to play anyways, and I got to smack him up a bit. Oh, he got Bramble. That's right. <sighs> oh, let me take out his pink ward. His pink ward does absolutely nothing anyways. I don't need my jungler to come up and help me. So he doesn't have to be scared of my jungler. He just has to be scared of me. So, I spun him with the Kraken proc, got a quick 
Kraken proc. Okay, he didn't even flash. He just knew he was dead. So I did use exhaust there. <coughs> okay, I'm pretty lucky that Rama said our use is uh, Zulti. I think I should be fine here. So, I have to be a little bit careful there, because what Shen can do, Shen can actually ult onto the Ramus there, and allow the Ramus to just straight up dive me. Which, I think I'm pretty lucky to have that not happen there. So, instead of Devori, I think I'm just going to go straight into Hullbreaker. I think I've got enough damage for Shen right now to bully him. A little bit of damage I'm getting from Holebreaker too, because I am getting 50 attack damage from this, is going to help me. Uh, especially with the true damage I'm getting from the extra, you know, bonus AD for, for my Kraken. But more importantly about Holebreaker is I'm going to be getting huge damage onto his turret, and Shen is going to have to react to me just uh, bulldozing his turret. So even if he does something like that, we just sustain right back up. No problem whatsoever. And with the extra armor and MR from Hullbreaker, they'll help too with uh, taking a lot of those damage from turret shots. Where your sustain is a little bit more meaningful. If he taunts here, I just kill him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he wasted his uh, his W before, so when he taunts there, he has nothing to protect him from me just beating him down, and my ultimate is coming back up. My guess is that he didn't anticipate my ult being back up, he mistimed it, because my ult was like two seconds from being up when he started that, so my ultimate is up before he was able to full on kill me with the turret. And yeah, already breaching the first turret, this is not a good sign for Shen. It's just going to be the ultimate beatdown from here on out. So, I need to get to my Hole Breaker ASAP. The faster I'm going to get this, the more effectiveness I'm going to get. Because the second I build this item, I need to make it worth. Or else it's just, um, it's kind of useless. I have to break down turrets fast. So, I want to break down this turret. I don't want to break down this turret. That way I can start rotating into bottom. <coughs> I am your worst nightmare. It's like... Okay, the game's kind of even. My Echo is a little bit behind their Seraph. I think Echo also just has insane scaling, so... It doesn't matter too much. Uh, he's just going to taunt away, right? I'm scared of the Ramus being up here, and I still don't have ult. Actually, Ramus went down bottom for the dragon. Good. I don't know why Shen was walking up like that. That was a good bit of damage. But, we got more. No! Oh, that... So I dodged the Zerath ultimate, but it hit my wave, which caused the turret to hit me. Oh, that's like... I got my hole breaker now. Dang, I just gave a thousand gold to Zerath. That's never good. Oh, but... While, uh, while the Zerath went top to deal with me, and get my bounty. My echo went bottom and got a triple kill. So I'm gonna say worth. <clears throat> so my my echo is a little bit behind, and honestly, he's still gonna be behind because 
Xerath picked up my big ass bounty. But Echo is like definitely ahead of some of the other people on their team now, and he could start just assassinating people. All right, let's take this Grom. We'll head back top. Now that we got the Hole Breaker, the Hole Breaker spike is just kind of stupid. Getting 20 armor and MR. And my large minions are getting even more armor and MR, so I just... Shen won't be able to... Because Shen is full tank, he has no team at or anything. Uh, These super minions or what? Or these large minions... Are could be too powerful for Shen to even kill, or for the turret to kill, really. It's going to take like 15 tower uh, tower shots to be able to kill it. By the way, the reason I didn't just insta-kill that wave, I want to beat this next wave out here. That way I can stack the waves better into turret. Just a small split pushing trick. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck like out here. Right. Well, Shen went into me, used all the stuff, and I am just, uh, I'm too powerful for him. So, instantly using this hole breaker spike. As soon as I get it, and I just need to breach turrets. I already gave up my bounty. Oh, he's out of mana. <laughs> he can't vault me. Maybe he, he can get enough mana here. No, he's he's very um. Okay, well, uh, me split bot. You guys remember this one back from the OG Trinmere guide from uh, several years ago. Well, we're back. Let's see. I'm gonna build this this, and we're probably just gonna go into Navori. They do have a large amount of armor. But I think it's still worth getting Navori, and then we can get Armor Pen, and then into something like Infinage. I think that'd just be more worth. Shane got a kill. Okay, so he's uh, reset. As far as gold count goes. I'll let the the Felius know I got bought. No problem. You know, they are very magic damage heavy. If I go an item like Maw, Zerus gonna deal negative damage. He's already like gonna have trouble clearing this way. Like, usually the answer to Trinmer Split is either like another strong duelist or just heavy wave clear. But look how long these super minions are lasting. Like, if Sona wasn't there, then I can push the Zerath back and try to force on a Zerath there. Okay, auto pathing in this game is terrible. And oh my gosh, I didn't realize he had barrier. Ooh! <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize he had barrier. I thought I could be able to kill him with my spin. Whoops. Oh, now we know. I should have looked at his sums. Either way, it's double sums for my double sums, except uh, my sums come up pretty quick. Like my ignite for sure. 180 seconds compared to his flash being 300. Looks like Sona is still like hanging around bottom too. So we're definitely pulling the pressure we, we need to be doing with this build. Once I get Navori, it's going to be way easier to kill the Zero since I'll have way more ability haste. I'll be able to reset my spin. Even off of just the, uh, the minions here. I'm gonna bore I'm just gonna gun back. So Sheik is going like an AD build. He's going Kraken into what looks like a Blade Rune King. 
this Shaco build scales extremely well. Like his clone by itself is gonna just straight up um win. Uh, it's just gonna strip like assassinate someone by itself without even the real Shaco being there. You just queue behind someone ulti, the, the ult clone just hail blades and just take someone out and just does massive damage. Chen's got a lot of armor. I think Echo should be able to 1v1 him. Okay. Well, we were able to kill this Earth without even having to ultimate. That is not a good sign for the enemy team. That Navori spike totally just, like, got me a kill there. Zerath didn't see I got Navori, I just spun all over him. Yeah, it looks like uh, Shaco's going for the uh, the back door there. Um, yo, I got a Holebreaker minion, Jin. Oh, he has collector. No, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I trolled it. I could have. Um, so I was going to do, I was going to let that Q hit, and then when he went for his next shot, as he was shooting, I was going to run back at him. Uh, and that would have put him in perfect spot for this spin. Oh my gosh, the collector caught me off guard. <laughs> you know, this is a lesson for everybody here, though. You really should check people's items. With, with, like, So when you're splitting and, you know, new duelist has arrived, take a look at his sums, take a look at his, uh, you know, items. So, I didn't kill Xerath at one time because I had to take a look at his barrier and kill the Jin there because uh, I didn't see a collector. That dude is actually so fed. Oh no, Blitz. Not like this. Oh, I thought about Warhammer. Yeah, we're going to go into Cerelda. That's going to give me even more ability haste to chase down some of their squishy members on the split. And then, of course, Cerelda still gives a good amount of armor pen for the, uh, the Shen if he starts going against me again. I just don't think Shen can ever face against me, though. Let's see if I can catch Zareth out. Their whole team is up there, so it's just me and Zareth. Although he's pretty quick. Yeah. Damn, he's too quick. So he's get so because they got that cloud. He's got the out of combat move speed, so he's able to get away from me before I can spam him. Huh, well, staying on here. We gave up two, like, kind of not so good deaths to the Xerath and the gym. <laughs> oh no. That's a lot of people. No! <laughs> I got red out by the whole team. I don't know why I spun up to the, the Ramus. That was a little bit silly. Um, <clears throat> so, want to go into Cerelda next. It was so long, sword. go back bot. So, really, what, instead of just walking up here and, like, randomly spinning over to Ramus, what I should do is, since they have the Ramus here, they got the Xerath covering, and they have the Jin nearby, <coughs> I have to let my team do is, like, allow my team to shove up while, you know, they've got multiple people here. And then, once my team is in a position to pressure something, then I can pressure. Yes, Jin is going off right now. Yeah, before that guy even killed me, he was very fed.
this game's not a loss for sure. We just gotta play it more patiently, we'll be fine. I got the saw, he's dead. He's at least gonna have to use his uh, flash. Nice. Oh, enemy team got Baron. But I got the kill on Zareth, and I forced him to use double sums and his Zarni, and I still killed him. And I'm still shoving, too. I have my exhaust still. Ramus and Shen are both here. Oh, you know, maybe we could just win straight by splitting right now. We got double, double siege minions right now. I think I might be able to ship in the game. Like, these uh, cannon minions are not going to come down easily because the hull breaker. Pull breaker for the win! Okay, even with a couple mistakes, still was able to lock down this game just by purely splitting. Okay, now we just end. Alright, GG! Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, sorry for the little bit of a uh, scuffed webcam. I'm on my laptop currently. I'm on a little bit of a vacation, a little bit of a wedding present from my parents um, at a uh, at the beach. So I'm going to go and head over there and uh, have some uh, nice drinks and have a good time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.